this morning that big dog belonging to Dustman were found dead as a doornail. Had its throat tore away. Tore away? Aye. By some savage claw, they say. Count Dracula. Good evening. Miss Seward. Good evening, Count. Dr. Seward. Miss Van Helsing. My savior. I trust you're feeling improved. Yes. Thank you. I don't think she looks well at all. Well, perhaps a trifle pale. Count Dracula, we haven't actually met. Uh, I, this is... Uh... Yes, Jonathan Harker, my new English solicitor. I have enjoyed our correspondence. And I too, I must say. I must thank you for finding me an extraordinary house here in Whitby. It's a pleasure. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I don't see how anyone except possibly Milo Renfield, could spend even a day at Carfax Abbey. A house, Miss Seward, cannot be made habitable in a day. And after all, how few days go to make up a century. Sorry, I don't understand. I am of an old family. To live in a new house would be impossible for me. I got dinner hot, if anybody cares. Oh, I care, Mr. Swales. <laughs> Come on, Miss. Come along, Card. Food. Miss Van Helsing. It is difficult for me to express precisely, but there seemed to be a doom over the ship from the moment we left Varna. Count, um, some wine. You haven't... Um... No, thank you, Doctor. I never drink wine. Before you arrived, we were looking at the ship's log. It wasn't lost at sea. No. The very last entry was a strange word. A word that Mina thought meant undead. Undead? Yes. Uh, Nosferatu. Ah, it means not dead. You were right. No, with your permission and all due respect to Miss Van Helsing. Yes, I'm quite finished. Thank you. There is a distinction. The words not dead usually carry the simple meaning. Oh. Dead. Undead. I don't care. They all frighten me. Oh, I love to be frightened. Do you? <laughs> 